Well, one of the, although it does it really well. I mean, a song that AI, they clone the voices of Drake and The Weeknd, right. and they right. had been removed from streaming services after Universal Music Group said it violated copyright law. But the song went crazy viral. It sounded like a Drake Weekend song. Um, it sounded pretty good. It sounded good. <laughs> yeah. And at the statement, UMG said, AI begs the question as to which side of history all stakeholders in the music ecosystems want to be on, the side of artists, fans, and human creative expression, or the side of deep fakes, fraud, and denying their artists due compensation. At the same time, you couldn't help but be um, excited by it. It was yeah. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. How, how, you, what, should these writers who any who, whose data is used to train AI really be compensated, or is it too late? I, I don't think it's too late. I think this all brings a lot of intellectual property considerations about consent, mm -hmm. about control, and about compensation. Look, I'm talking to you now with a, a lot of augmented technologies, right? When you're using a cloud-based mm -hmm. service, my voice is being compressed. When I write emails, they're auto-completed already. So none of us is like a fully grounded analog human anymore. Most of us would probably be dead. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and, and certainly the jobs we do are heavily assisted. However, mm -hmm. we have a sense of agency and control in that. And so I think, you know, we're going to need some new systems of almost literal accounting and accountability. Mm -hmm. If you are an artist like Drake or anyone, it won't just be the output that matters. Mm -hmm. It'll be certification of the process. Dare I say, maybe blockchain has a use here, uh -huh. right? Yeah. In terms of proving that that was Drake in the recording studio, that his lips were moving. Right. And so that metadata gets attached to the streaming file Amazing. and a service like Spotify only accepts validated creative output or, or at least documented. So they use Autotune. Mm -hmm. Cool. But they, they announce it. Mm -hmm. And so a third party can't just rip a voice and upload it without the proof of uh, provenance and sort of creative process.